Okay, here's another series parallel, and we're trying to find the equivalent resistance between these two points, just the total resistance. And we're going to verify with the multi-sim. So what we've got is we've got this is in parallel, and then we start out, and we've got this 2.2. Now these two are in parallel with each other, and these three are all in parallel with each other. So the first thing we need to do is find out what these two in parallel comes out to be. And we're putting R3 in parallel with R4 and so the parallel resistance and when I write these I put R parallel so that means parallel not 11 and I always do it with the 1 over the reciprocal formula now there's three um, <coughs> formulas you can use one is if all the resistors have the same value one is if there's only two resistors and then there's this formula this formula works all the time and if you're if you know how to do it, it's the uh, best way to go. It works in all circumstances. So anyway, these two resistors in parallel work out to 2588. Then we have 5, 6, and 7 in parallel. They work out to 1266. And if we go to the next sheet, and this is kind of what I was saying. If you're handy with a calculator, um, always use that parallel formula. It always works. It's really simple. And so now what we have is we've got um, we've got this 22k in parallel with this, these three are all in series. So these three add up to 6054, and then we've got 22k. So that total resistance turns out to be 4651. Now if we put 10 volts between those points, then we'll get uh, 2.106 milliamps. And let's see if our multi-sim is going to uh, cooperate and confirm that. So we've got this circuit set up um, right now. And what we can do is, well, right now we've got it set up for 10 volts. And when we just put 10 volts across this circuit, exactly as it was, it shows that, um, well, it shows that we've got 2.106 milliamps when we run it across and that should work out to 4748 and if we look at our final thing we had 4751 which is within tolerance so it's correct <clears throat> now what we can do is we can just get rid of that guy maybe if we first stop the simulation then we can get rid of him and what we can do is um, we'll delete that guy. We'll have to move this ground point back into position. Connect him up. And what we'll try to do here is we'll grab a multimeter. We'll put it there. We'll bring it all the way across. And what we'll do, got to rotate them. And after a while you get pretty good with flipping these things around. And we're going to connect them up to C. What the impedance is from the top rung to the bottom rung. And we'll set him up to read ohms. Move him out of the picture a little bit. And we'll turn him on. And we get 4.748, which is 47.48 kiloohms. And again, the multi-SIM is going to give you the correct value. And uh, again, it's a verification tool when you're doing the problems. And that's the end of this demonstration.